just what will be the new Overwatch meta. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Salosa and this is Unit Lost, and we are imminently about to receive the PTR patch onto live. Now, I assume that all of it is going to remain the same because of all the buffs and nerfs that they've put into it. They've been tested for a while now and there's not really been any drastic changes. So let's go over what the new meta is going to look like in this video. Now, obviously, we've not been able to play the meta on live, so we can't give a definitive answer. But what we can do is give extremely good guesses as to what will happen. We've got a lot of experience here with Overwatch, so we know what's going on. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at the first casualty. This is D.Va. Now, D.Va just has less survivability because what they've done is swapped around her armor and health. So instead of having 400 armor and 200 health, she's got 400 health and 200 armor. What this means is people who put out lots of very fast small damage, I guess that's the best way to explain it. So like Reaper with a lot of pellets that do damage, uh, Roadhog with a shotgun attack again, Soldier 76 who fires in or even another Diva firing into a Diva. They will rip through the armor much quicker and then start ripping through the HP and they can absolutely obliterate D.Va. So what this means is Soldier 76, who is very much in the meta right now, is actually stronger because he can just destroy a D.Va. So if a D.Va gets picked on the enemy team and starts flying around, all Soldier has to do is focus her and he will get her out of the mech much quicker. Also, Roadhog is We'll get onto him in a second, but Roadhog has been buffed. 2.0, uh, Hook 2.0 is much better than, than the previous Hook. It's just, it's absolutely awesome. It's guaranteed kill, but we'll get onto that in a second. But his primary attack will just absolutely annihilate D.Va. Like, she can't stop the Hook with Defense Matrix. She gets hooked, she gets killed. So what you've got there are two very strong counters to D.Va. D.Va... Um, well, I think she can still be used in certain situations. She's still pretty good against Farah because she can shut down her ultimate. Um, she can eat uh, Zarya's Graviton as well. I mean, a, a cute thing D.Va players can do against Farah players is when Farah ultimates, they can just fly towards her because Farah's the, the detonation of the uh, ultimate will kill Farah, obviously with Defense Matrix active, so the projectiles are getting um, interrupted. Then you just sort of drop it and headbutt uh, Farah and she sort of blows up in the sky. It's a bit ridiculous, but it's a very strong counter. But now, D.Va can be countered much easier because D.Va was this hero who could kind of do it all and that's not what you want in this game you don't want somebody who's a flanker who's a tank who's dps and has a good ultimate that is absolutely ridiculous and she became an instant pick in almost every single team like without a diva you were at a severe disadvantage but now she can be countered so do i think this means diva's dead as such no and i did cover this a little bit in a video i made a couple of weeks ago but i think diva is going to go into the specialist tank selection slot now what this means is she'll be picked if there is an enemy pharaoh or if there's an enemy widow maker or something that you need to get on too fast and just kill something that can't really deal with the diva I still think if you're a D.Va main or you play a lot of D.Va, you can still play and you'll still kind of be okay. But you, you are going to be much more squishy. So you're going to have to be less sort of um, obnoxious, I think, in the way that you play. You can't just fly around and do what you like because you are going to get taken down. So just be aware of that. Okay, Hook 2.0. This thing is a beast. It is a massive buff for Roadhog. This means now that when his hook attaches to you, you get pulled towards him and you die. You cannot squirm away from the hook. You cannot make it break on terrain. If it gets you, you are dead. And that's what the hook has always designed, been, been designed to be in my mind, right? It is the perfect tool for denying bad positioning. If you are out in the open, you're not behind a barrier, you're not behind a wall, Roadhog sees you, he throws his hook, he gets you, you die. That is the deal. That is what happens. And it is absolutely what happens right now with the hook. So this is a massive buff. It means if you get hooked by Roadhog, you're pretty much dead almost all of the time, especially if you're a 200 HP hero or below. Now, what does this mean for the meta? Well, it means that he's going to remain in the meta because he's actually stronger than he was. Uh, he can wreck D.Va now because D.Va's been uh, nerfed. Um, he's a big target, so Anna can still heal him for the buff. And yes, Anna is still in the meta, but we'll get onto her in a second. Um, but his hook is just better. And yeah, he, he's just better. Like, Roadhog is better. He is still in the meta. So don't worry if you're a Roadhog player. You can just literally play him every single game. I don't see a time where you wouldn't really want a Roadhog on your team. Anna, Anna, Anna. She is going absolutely nowhere. What they've done with Anna is reduced her heal on the bio grenade to plus 50% instead of plus 100%. So they've halved its sort of... Um it's, it's ability, but it's going to make no difference because it's still stupidly powerful. And also, they've reduced the duration of it from 5 to 4 seconds, which again isn't really that huge. 
What this means is Anna will still be used because Anna is an insanely powerful hero because she's got such an awesome kit. Anna is also um, quite difficult to kill. This is one of the things that makes Anna quite strong. If you've ever tried to jump Anna and kill her, you'll realize that actually she's really strong. Like As a healer, she is really, really strong. She's a healer who can kill the enemy, who can look after herself, who can crowd control the enemy, who has a great ultimate, and who can do the best single target healing in the game or burst healing in the game. And she still can, even with these nerfs that have hit her. It just means she's not as efficient at doing it. I think what this will mean is that there will be more chance for DPS to play because Anna won't be as strong. She's still going to be really strong and I still think we're going to see a triple tank meta which means we're still going to see Anna pumping heals into massive targets that she literally cannot miss which then gives her ultimate pretty quick and it's uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think Anna is still going to be the backbone of every single team. She is going to be the primary support that you need and then you take uh, whatever support after. Like if you take teams with like a Mercy and a Zen for example, they're still going to be okay but if that Zen could play Anna that would be a much more effective team or if that Mercy could play Anna it'd be a much more effective team and I think that's the problem with Anna she's just she just is too strong not to take and if they nerfed her down to the point of not being able to take her um, there'd be some problems right because Anna is the I don't think anybody can argue with me when I say this, but Anna is the support that requires the most skill. So she has to have a good reward for actually being able to land those shots on players and being able to sleep enemies and being able to use the bio grenade. Whereas the other supports, they kind of passively support the team in a way, whereas Anna is very active. So you can't give her the worst heals in the game because then that means why would you play her? Because the skill element doesn't actually exist anymore. You may as well take another healer and then just carry on with that that's going to be the problem with Anna I think and this is why Anna oh dear I think Anna's always going to be in the meta for a very long time to come Sombra, she's an interesting one. Uh, she's had a hack cooldown reduced from 12 seconds to 8 seconds, and she can hack stuff 0.2 seconds faster. It's a, it's a step in the right direction. Sombra is not going to be in every single game. You can still use it every now and again. I see Sombra used right now on live, and it's interesting when she comes out and she can be used. She's still super niche, though, or niche, I think, as our American friends would say. Um, but she's not going to be used all of the time. She's slightly better than she was, but I still think she needs a little bit more work to make her a bit more viable. So what will the meta be? Because we've just spoke about all of the heroes and the changes and how I think it will affect them in the meta. Well, I, I, honestly, this will be the meta. If you want to roll a meta, meta, meta team, it will be this. Soldier 76, Reinhardt, Roadhog, Zarya, Anna, Lucio. There's your team. That is the team. I can't really see any other team being as strong as that on the whole. Um, obviously, Overwatch is a game about counters, so if you start picking heroes and try like if you went like double flankers against that team and try to really take out their back line and you manage to do it you can kind of leave the tanks exposed and burn through them there's always a way of working around this but you'll notice that that meta that i've just sort of explained to you there uh, or at least what i think it's going to be is pretty exactly what we've got right now just without diva and you don't really take the diva if you well wanted to shut down a Widowmaker or shut down a farah you could argue that Winston was probably the guy to shut down a Far uh, shut down a Widowmaker or shut down a Tracer or Genji in the past, but I, Winston, I think, is in a strange situation because there's just too many counters to Winston in the game, um, especially if you're rolling triple tanks. I mean, they, Winston can't do anything to them, and they'll just kill him. So you take a hero that literally cannot do anything to three members of the enemy team, it's very difficult for Winston to be used like that, and yeah, you can only really use them if teams go against the meta, which... Unfortunately, most teams do roll with the meta. So that's what I think we're looking at in terms of meta. I would... Like, what would be the ideal meta for me would be... I think we need to start seeing more DPS coming back into the game. We also need to see more support diversity. Um, I want to see Mercy coming back. I want to see... Uh, Zen get used more often. Like, just having Lucio and Anna in every single game is very stale. It's like, right, Anna is the primary target to shut down. If you don't kill the Anna, if you try and kill the tanks, you can't because Anna keeps them alive indefinitely. And that is a massive problem. Like, you should be able to just blast damage into tanks and Anna can't, like, out she should not be able to outheal all of that damage coming into tanks, but she kind of can. And I still think she'll be able to do this as well, especially with supplementary healing from the other support in the team. Um, I don't think we're going to see crazy stuff like triple support or solo support builds i think it's always going to be a double support meta um and we're probably going to be looking at like i said a triple tank what i would like to see though would be like i'd like to see genji coming back into the game i think genji is in a interesting position right now um during season one and season two genji was really strong because we didn't have this heavy tank meta there were heavy tank builds you could do but it wasn't super tank heavy like it is now 
That obviously means Genji's got a problem because Genji, he's not going to burn tanks down. He's just can poke away at them he's going to get his ultimate he goes in and he starts dropping the 120 slashes with his uh dragon blade that's okay but when a support is being healed uh, well when a tank's being healed by anna and that's happening it doesn't really do anything so that means genji has to focus on the supports but then genji's problem is if he does that the rest of the team should look after the supports and then that kills genji so that's genji's problem i really wish genji would come back and come back strong because i really like watching genji plays and i think genji is a very high skill cap hero and it's very interesting to watch him play in some respects the same as mccree you could argue mccree is more interesting to watch than a soldier 76 so i'd like to see more mccree in the game i guess like because it's nice and accurate bang 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 and i like to play mccree as well so you know it would be more interesting if he did come back stronger you can still play him like one thing i've just got to stress throughout this entire video i'm not saying this is the way the game has to be played because it's not because you can play the game however you like and a lot of the times if you go off meta and you take a crazy team i mean i played in the team with three snipers like okay anna was in the team she's always going to be in the team Widowmaker and hanzo and i was on soldier we had reinhardt as the tank it's like what that team is just insane and we had a symmetra as well i mean how is that but it won and this was in a grandmaster level game and we won as i slapped my headset in anger we're well, not in anger in, in 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 like yes we won so you can do it you can win but Overwatch's issue is when you do have a team that can just be stacked with tanks, it kind of becomes a little bit less uh, fluid, I think, and more of this just sort of tanks walk up to each other, heal, 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 bang, 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 and it goes through. It's okay if you're a tank player. I mean, it's been okay to me this season because I played a lot of Anna and I played a lot of Reinhardt, so I could always play them and know that I'm doing well and feel that I'm contributing to the team. But I think this meta discussion is just going to keep going on and on and on, and I don't think what they've done is enough to get rid of the triple tank meta. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. It is a super interesting topic, so if you've got any thoughts on this, let me know what hero you play and let me know what you think is going to happen to them as a result of these changes that are going to hit live pretty much any day now, I assume. All right, guys, I'm Salosa. This is Unit Lost, and I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.